Hello everyone, I'm Matteo Pernaziero and today I'm going to talk to you about prejudices. Nowadays we always heard and we, all, we are always spectators of campaigns against prejudices, but most of the times we don't think what we have heard before and this is a serious problem because prejudices are kind of violence, not only for us and for the people judged, but also for the people that judge other people because it blocks not only a lot of links that we can make with other people, but also it leaves our mentality closed. But do you know when were prejudices born? They were born a lot of time ago, when T-Rex were judged by all the dinosaurs because they are short arms and this is a bit funny, but it is, it is the truth. And prejudices since then have been going on and they are still going on. So this is a problem and to fight against this problem, in my opinion, we need to attack it at the roots and the roots of prejudices are the eyes because the eyes are the first organ that see a person, a subject and after with the help of the brain start uh, judging it without knowing nothing of it. So it isn't correct because knowing nothing of someone we can't frame a people just with a look. So there is a proverb really famous that can help us to this fight against the devices that is uh, never judge a book by its cover. So as I said before, it's a proverb that we have to follow to improve our life. Now I'm going to show you some photos of people that aren't what they seem. So starting from her. Well, she is a nurse and she seems normal but in truth she is a warrior prejudices him what about him he is a businessman and he seems uh, very correct right but in truth she is a worker at home she is a really hard worker also, if uh, he is a rich, he works a lot at home in the garden. Prejudices are wrong. Also, we have that girl that seems a poor girl with home with a lot of babies, and maybe she is widow. But in truth, but to make money, she prostituted herself. What about him? He is a painter. He seems a normal painter, but in truth. Then we have other examples of other people in which prejudices are wrong, like the man or that girl. Or that man. So we can see that prejudices aren't truth. Or what do you think about that man? You think that he's a crazy man or with some Problems, but in truth, he is an astronaut. <laughs> so what I want to say to you that prejudices are wrong. If we think that they can help us, we are wrong because they can't help us if they block the limbs with people. If we can um, protect ourselves, we can use uh, the, um, the famous proverb trusting is good, you know, trust is better. But we, we have to use it with the right behavior and also with the uh, um, kindness with other people. In conclusion, I want to say to you to not judge ever because you would never like to be judged as you judge other people.